downtown Palm Harbor, and here we are. Downtown Palm Harbor is kind of a cool place because you can get seafood at, say, like a uh, place like the uh, Thirsty Marlin. You can go to breakfast at Lulu's right behind me. Uh, you can go up the street and have a great pizza at Fireside Pizza. And, and Peggy O'Neill's is here. Not only is it a good Irish pub, but they also have good food, which is, if you know anything about Ireland and Britain and their food, uh, having good food is a rarity, but they've got good food here. Hey, how you doing? Welcome, Terry. Thanks, thanks for coming out to Peg Your well, Hills. Well, thank you. Your name is Eric? Eric Weber. I knew that because I was reading your shirt. Yeah, I clued myself <laughs> in. <laughs> I usually wear one, but well, not today. What can I say? Now, where are we at? You're at Peggy O'Neill's Irish Pub and Eatie. We're in the old downtown district of Palm Harbor. It's 1026 Florida Avenue. Yep. Uh, zip code's 34683. We're in a you know 19th century building, and uh, yeah. we've been an Irish pub for eight years, serving up all kinds of great Irish food as well as some great American bar favorites. Yeah, we've heard about your food. It's supposed to be really good. Well, we whipped up a little Reuben sandwich and our uh, famous, uh, real famous fish and chips for you today. Ooh, cool. So can we sample some of that? Absolutely. Let's go get something out of the kitchen for you. All right. I'm right behind you. Uh, Eric, what did our kitchen leprechauns bring us? Uh, the leprechauns brought out our famous Reuben sandwich. It's a mile-high pile of uh, corned beef on marble rye bread, Swiss cheese, and our own homemade Thousand Island sauce, a little sauerkraut to finish. How's that luck of the Irish treating you? Mmm. Good. Finger looking good. Mm -hmm. And the dressing, homemade? Homemade. Oh, man. It's a righteous Reuben. He says he took another bite. Mmm, this is very good. <laughs> so anything special about the bread? Yeah, it's just, the, you know, marble, good marble. We use thick crust, so when you grill it, we put the cheese on the bread, so that way the, you know, the, the sandwich doesn't get soggy. So just a couple of, you know, tips. You know, I've been uh, in the restaurant business 30 years, chef, mm -hmm. all that good stuff, so got a few tricks to make the better better sandwiches. Boy, this is a good one. Mmm, mmm, thanks, Eric. What else we got? Well, that's right, we got some fish and chips for you. Oh, okay, let's go get them. All right. And there they are, fish and chips. Fish and chips. This is our world famous fish and chips, uh, self proclaimed, but soon to be true. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's hand battered here on premise in our own beer batter with homemade coleslaw, french fries. So homemade beer batter? Homemade beer batter. We serve about 20, 25,000 orders a year of this. Oh, man. Yep. Oh, good. And it tastes good? Good fish. Yeah. Oh, it's good beer. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's good beer. You know, I learned a long time ago. If you want to, if you want to have good food, you got to have good beer. A little for the uh, pot and a little for the chef. Oh, this is good. This is really good. And you coleslaw. And coleslaw, homemade coleslaw. And French fries. fries. French fries. And then we serve it with our real famous tartar sauce as well, which we make, you know, in house. Mm, I'm gonna dip some of the tartar sauce right now. I'm pretending it's not really here, but we're gonna pretend, right? <laughs> We'll bring it out over. All right. If you have to be world famous, it has to start someplace, right? Absolutely. And why not? If you don't toot your own horn, who will? That's right, by golly. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got uh, great coleslaw, french fries, well, chips, actually. Chips. Chips, yeah. And great fish. Beer battered. Hand, hand battered. Hand battered. Hand beaten. Hand beaten. Fresh to water. That's good. And good. No. Mmm. You know, the fish is delicious, and it makes me think of something to drink with it. All right, well, we got a full bar here at Pagu and Hills. We, we make all kinds of different martinis and mojitos. we got a great Bloody Mary. Uh, we also have um, 14 beers on tap. Uh, we have about eight craft beers. Eight bunch, crafty beers? Yeah, eight crafty beers. we also got a, another uh, couple dozen craft beers by the bottle as well. So we got just about everything to quench your thirst. Oh, wow. So that... That, boy, that sounds great. Oh, with a nice Sam Adams October first beer, or a, or a Black and Tan, or Guinness Stout, of course. If you're an Irish pub, you got to have Guinness Stout. No, that's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> and we got Jameson Irish whiskey, so you got to have a little Irish whiskey too. That may be for after dinner. Okay. <laughs> Boilermaker. <laughs> Boilermaker. Now, you guys got a website? We have a website. It's PeggyO'Neill's.com. Mm -hmm. It shows you uh, all our specials. We got great specials every day of the week from. Dollar tacos on Monday and two for one appetizers on Tuesday, two for one burgers on Wednesday, and on Thursday we have two for one fish and chips. So, yeah. you know, yeah, two of these for what? Two of these for the price of one. Wow. Right, you know, yes. wow. Live music on Friday and Saturday nights, and then we got 40 TVs to show all the football games and baseball games, hockey, etc. So, you could just about live here then. 
I've been living here for about 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> now you got a Facebook thing too? We got Facebook, we got Twitter, we got, uh, we're working on that Instagram and Flickr okay, okay. and Tumblr and uh, whatever else, uh, all, the, and all, the social, can, all the social media. And now you can see yourselves on uh, Tasting the City too. On Tasting the City next. Cool, cool. Well, hey, we're about ready to get out of here. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks much. for stopping in. Glad you enjoyed it. Oh, this is delicious. Thanks. See you, you too. Thanks, buddy.